Good morning, good evening and good afternoon YouTube. Not everything in Ireland is perfect, as some of you apparently think. So today we're gonna talk about some bad sides of Ireland and bad sides of living in Ireland in general. With number one, without any delay, housing crisis and rents. Now, is it really that bad, as everyone says? I would be lying if I said I know personally from my experience. I don't because I've been living in the safe house last four years, but apparently it is. The data from, from September last year says there was almost almost 1,100, 11,000 homeless people in Ireland. I mean, that's gotta, gotta say something. But yeah, stories from people I know and don't know, and the stories I have read is finding accommodation in Ireland, especially in Dublin, is horrifying experience currently. Even if you manage to find something, it's usually shit. And it's just shit. Either it's the moisture or your roof is leaking or your... I don't know anything or there's just landlords who just like to do things illegally without a contract so you can get evicted to no, tomorrow if they if it fits their needs so yeah I don't know what to tell you I mean I know I have one tip for you so if you are already renting in Ireland there's a new thing this year where you can as part of your tax rebate you can claim 500 euro per person as a rent aid I don't know how to call it rent aid from government you just go to revenue office or if you use tax rebates you just text them you give them your info and you'll get 500 500 euros for rent every single year starting from 2022 and i i'm pretty sure you can claim it already for 2023 so there you go point number two healthcare in ireland apparently the waiting lists for medical procedures can be weeks long now if you think that's bad in Croatia, it's months, if not years, but let's stick to the normal world, which Ireland is certainly part of. Weeks and the uh, average time, waiting time in emergency services is 10 to 14 hours if your injury is not life-threatening, which is not so good. But that's not all of it, just that's one part of it. If you end up staying in the hospital, the service there is, uh, at least in the Galway hospital is done by a comp company called Aramark which I actually used to work for my god that's that, that's a whole a, a other pile of horseshit let me tell you so the people working and server serving you food there have exactly five days of training and after that they're supposed to know everything they're supposed to read your chart and for example if you're a mince or a mince diet or if you're on a gluten-free diet or anything they are supposed to check your chart and give you the appropriate food now as you can imagine they, they don't after five days of training you're put into a ward oh, i hope the wind is not too too strong you're put into wards with 30 40 people and you're supposed to take care of them and that unfortunately leads to life loss which i don't know unfortunately did happen in Golby Hospital. You should really avoid Aramark at any cost. The other side of that coin is everything is very modern and very advanced. You just need to wait for your queue and when it's your turn, you will be taken care of. Pretty modernly? Modern? That's not a word. That's not a word, but yeah. Everything is modern. Let's leave it at that for now. Point number three, Ireland is small and so are its roads. So transportation is in Ireland is not ideal. If you live in Dublin, especially in Dublin, smaller cities, I'll talk about Galway a bit later, but Dublin. Let's say you need to commute with a bus or inner city train or anything similar. They will be late. Daily basis, not even daily, hourly basis. They will be late, including, I mean, it's a big city. All the problems that come with capital cities and big cities, Dublin has them. But I live in, in Dublin, which is much smaller than Dublin. In Dublin, I live in Galway, not Dublin, which is much smaller than... My God, what am I doing? I live in Galway, which is much smaller than Dublin. It's the same shit. I mean, the, the rush hour here, which is, trust me, not an hour, it's five hours every day. 
where everything is just jammed. Stoppages on the roads, not just buses, cars. If you have a car and go away, you're better off walking, trust me. But yeah, buses are late and they're just not reliable. If you live somewhere outside of the, the, the town, they're not as often as you would like them to be. And even if they are, they're still, uh, still late. Don't rely on transportation in Ireland. This one is a bit more complicated. Now, you probably heard about friendliness of Irish people and Ireland in general, and that is mostly true. Irish people are one of the most friendliest people in nation generally that I have ever met. I didn't travel the world, but I did travel a bit, so I have some something to compare it with. Every nation, including Ireland, has their fair bits of morons. There's always a group of people which IQ is equivalent of a room temperature. But why am I saying this and why I think this is one of the bad sides of Ireland? I started using Twitter more than, uh, more than usually in the last weeks and months and there's a trend there called hashtag Ireland is full. Now, there is a group of people, I would maybe call it a movement, which claim that uh, Ireland should not be accepting any uh, refugees, asylum seekers, uh, foreign workers and things like that, which I, 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 don't know, I don't even know where to start with that. I mean, their whole economy is based on foreign workers, but let's stick to the, the core of the subject. The problem is that is not that the opinion itself, because everyone's entitled to an opinion, but Ireland is not full for everyone if you ask them. It's full for certain people and not for some other. For example, Ukrainian refugees are welcome. Ireland is not full for them and that's fine. It should be like that. They should be helped. But those same people would not take refugees for, I don't know, from Middle East. And that's a problem because why? What's the difference? Is it the skin color, the religion or just the fact that they're from Middle East? It's a pile of horseshit. So if you're an expat thinking about moving to Ireland, you should know that because you can run, run into one of those idiots on the road. And then what? For a nation who has over 3 million people living outside of their borders in other countries doing the same things and as foreigners do in Ireland, you really need to have a, a wire connecting your two years in your head to claim that Ireland is full. That's where I'm gonna leave this one. All of that shit made me thirsty, so it's Guinness time. But before I move on to my last point and my final thoughts, please consider clicking the subscribe button. I make videos about Ireland one to two times per week, so if you like this, maybe you will like the other ones. So, and it would, it would mean a lot to me because I'm aiming to get to the 2000 subscriber mark soon. So consider subscribing. Anyways, my last point, one, you can't talk about Ireland without, without talking about its weather. Is it that bad? I don't think it is. It's windy now, I hope it's not too loud. But rain really doesn't bother me that much. I like it. I, there's nothing better than having a hot whiskey and watching a movie when it's raging rain outside and raining like hell. I like it. Plus, it's not raining all the time here, as people think. Yes, it might rain, every, not every day, but often. But it's never raining like seven days in a row as it does in Croatia in fall, for example. But yeah, it will rain every day two or three times, but deal with it. I mean, if you want to live in a hot tropical country, obviously you won't pick Ireland. It is what it is and I like it. It, 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 has, it has some kind of a charm and appeal to it. Everything I said in this video, please consider my personal opinions. I didn't want to offend anyone. I love living here and I love Ireland. But yeah, every country has its downsides. That's inevitable. So, comment section, please tell me, do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? If you have any points that I maybe didn't mention and you would like to mention, mention them in, in the comment section. If you like this video, press the like button. If you didn't, press the dislike one. If you loved it, share it with your friends, your priest, lover, wife, her sister, and I will see you in the next one.